Okay, fifth graders, here we are starting 7-5. And 7-5 is adding and subtracting fractions. And uh, in this first, in this example here, it says uh, Kayla had nine-tenths of a gallon of paint. And um, she's painted the ceilings in her bedroom and her bathroom. How much paint does she have after she painted the two ceilings? So if you look over at the diagram here, you can see that they gave us how much that she used in the bedroom, two-thirds of a gallon, and in the bathroom, one-fifth of a gallon. So we need to figure out how much paint she used, so what do you got to do? You got to add two-thirds and one-fifth and see what you get. So they do that in step one, and then they end up uh, with 13 over 15 is the answer. But we're not done yet because she had nine tenths of a gallon left, so they got to subtract 13 fifteenths from nine tenths of a gallon. What do they come up with? Um, they have a common denominator of 30, and one is 27 over 30, the other one's 26 over 30, and so 1 30th is, is left. And um, so let's take a look at um, the convince me. It says, for the problem above, how would you estimate um, to check to see that the answer is reasonable? Well, if you're going to estimate, um, the, the, really, the only way you can estimate different fractions, fractions with different denominator, denominators, is to turn them into fractions with the same denominators. And, and that's what they did here in step two, 27 over 30 versus 26 over 30. Both of those are close to 30 over 30. So, um, uh, so really, um, if you just rounded those to uh, 1 each, it'd be really 1 subtract 1 equals 0. And that's a pretty good estimate because 1 out of 30, that's pretty close to 0. So um, that's how I would do it. That's how I would do it. Okay, um, I wanted to show you guys something here. This one was about painting bedrooms and bathroom, and I thought ba bathrooms. I thought, oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at some different um, bedrooms here, and I, I wasn't really impressed with any bedrooms that, that I specifically saw, but I did think that this um, this house, this picture of this house slide is pretty cool. Look at that. How would you like to live in a house like that that has a slide? going from the second level, second story, to the first level. That's pretty darn cool. I, I, was, I was impressed with that. Um, that would be a lot of fun. There was a lot of other pictures with houses that have slides, but I just wanted to share that one with you guys. Okay, um, so let's see here. Let's go to the next page, the guided practice. Let's take a look. What do we got here? Um, in the example on page 286, how much more paint did Kayla use to paint the bedroom ceiling than the bathroom ceiling? So you're going to have to subtract one from the other. And I'm not going to do that one for you. I'll let you guys figure that one out. Number two, um, Kevin estimated the difference of nine tenths subtracting four eighths is to be zero. Is his estimate reasonable? Explain. Um, no, not really. Because um, I'm thinking 9 tenths, that's pretty close to 1. 4 eighths, well, what is 4 eighths? That's, that's a half. Okay, so, so um, um, a half would be a much better estimate. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Let's do number three. So number three here, it's 1 15th and we're adding 1 6th. What's the common denominator we could use? 15 won't work because 6 doesn't go into 15 evenly. What if we double 15 and make it 30? Well, 15 goes into 30 twice. Does 6 go into 30 evenly? Yeah, it does five times, so 30 will work. 6 goes into 30 five times. 5 times 1 is 5. 15 goes into 30 twice, and 2 times 1 is 2. Now we're adding. What do we get? 5 and 2 is 7. 7 over 30 is the answer to number 3. 7 over 30. Okay. Um, I'm looking at number 6 here. Don't forget 
do what's in the parentheses first. And you guys should be able to do these by now. I'm looking to see if any of them would be particularly tough. Um, I don't see any that that look hard to do. How about number 13? I don't know. Let's just look at number 13 here. So, um, 13, 13. So it's two fifths and two fifths plus one quarter. So we're adding again here. All right. What's the common denominator for five and four? Well, if we five, four doesn't go into five evenly. How about 10? No, four doesn't go into 10 evenly. How about 15? No, nope, four doesn't go into 15 evenly. How about 20? Oh, well, four definitely goes into 20, so 20 would be the common denominator. Four goes into 25 times, one times five is five. Five goes into 24 times, four times two is eight. We're adding, so five and eight is uh, 13. So 13 over 20 would be the answer to um, number 13. 13 over 20. All right. Um, yeah. Let's look at the last page here. Problem solving. The table shows the amounts the amounts of ingredients needed to make a pizza. How much more cheese do you need than pepperoni and mushrooms combined? Well, first off, we're going to combine the pepperoni and mushrooms. Okay, so take a look here. Here's the pepperoni, a third of a cup, and the mushrooms, a quarter of a cup. So what do you gotta do? You gotta add one third plus one quarter. Okay, now the question is how much more cheese do you need? So then whatever this answer is, I'm just gonna, I'll just, actually I'll just call it X. We'll call it X, whatever, X ends up being, you're going to subtract that from three quarters to see how much more cheese you can use, subtracting X. All right, you should be able to do number 23 then. 24, uh, Charlie's goal is to use less than 50 gallons of water per day. His water bill for the month showed that he used 1,524 gallons of water in 30 days. Wow, that seems like an awful lot. I, I actually don't know how many gallons of water I use in a month. Did Charlie meet his goal this month? Explain how he decided. Well, what are you going to have to do? Um, you're going to see how much, you need to find out how much he used per day. So 1,524, whoops, that's a horrible looking five. 1,524 divided by what? 30. Okay. That'll tell you how many gallons a day he used. All right. Number 25, Jereen spent a quarter hour on homework before school, another half an hour after she got home, and a final third of an hour after dinner. Did she spend more or less than one hour on homework in all? Well, what do you have to do? You're going to have to add one quarter, one third, and one quarter, one third, and one half. You've got to add those all up. Now, when you're adding multiple, like, you know, more, like three or more fractions together, you still have to do the same thing. You still have to find a common denominator before you can add them. So instead of just two fractions, we're adding three fractions. So we have to find a number that all three numbers, all three numbers, okay, that is two and three and four, will go into evenly. Okay? So, um, so take the largest one, four. If I double that to eight, well, three doesn't go into eight evenly, but two does, but that doesn't, it has to be all three. So I'll add another four, so eight plus four is 12. Does four go into 12? Yes. Does three go into 12? Yes. Does two go into 12? Yes, there we go. We have it then. So 12 would be the common denominator. And you guys should be able to take it from there. I'm not gonna do any more for you. Number 26. What do we got here? Carl has three lengths of cable. 
five six one quarter yard and two thirds of a yard. If he uses one yard of cable, how much cable is left? Okay, so um, what do you have to do? You're going to have to have to add up all three of those. Okay, so one quarter, five sixths, and two thirds. You've got to add up all three of those first. And um, let's see, what's the common denominator? Well, six is the largest, so I'll look at that first, but four doesn't go into six evenly. So if I double six to 12, 6 goes into 12, 4 goes into 12 evenly, and 3 does also. So it looks like, again, the common denominator would be 12, 12, 12. Okay, now, when you are done with this, figuring this out, then you're going to subtract that from 1. Actually, let me just go ahead and do it. 4 goes into 12 3 times, 3 times 1 is 3. 6 goes into 12 twice, 2 times 5 is 10. 3 goes into 12 4 times, 4 times 2 is 8. Now I'm going to add this up. Um, 8 plus 10 is 18, plus 3 more is 21, so it's 21 over 12. Alright, 21 over 12. So, um, If you're going to subtract that from, this is number 26 we're doing here, from one yard of cable, how much cable is left? So what if, if the denominator is 12, what would represent 1? If I had a fraction and the denominator is 12, what would represent 1? Well, 12 over 12 would equal 1. So that's what we're going to do. We would then subtract um, 12 over 12, and we're going to subtract that from 21 over 12. And that will tell you um, how much cable was left. Kind of a complicated problem, but I think you guys can, can do that one. All right. Um, yeah, just about done here. 27. Uh, find two fractions with a sum of two-thirds, but neither with a denominator of equal to three. So you have to come up with a denominator that's not, not three. So sum, we're talking about addition there. So two fractions that have an, a, that, um, that solution is two-thirds. And then 28 and 29 looks like multiple choice. You guys can do those on your own. So that's it. And I will see you guys tomorrow.